How to take your own blood pressure. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We've come to the Blood Pressure Association in London. Savita Sharma is going to demonstrate how to take your own blood pressure. Self-checking is not a substitute for having your blood pressure measured by a medical professional, but if you do suffer from high blood pressure, it can be a useful way of helping your doctor to monitor your blood pressure away from the surgery as you go about your everyday life. Step 1. Choosing a monitor. Most modern blood pressure monitors are digital, and different monitors can measure your blood pressure from your arm or wrist. The Blood Pressure Association recommends using an arm monitor as they tend to be more accurate. The most important thing is that you use one which has been clinically validated. To ensure that it remains accurate, you should return your monitor to its manufacturer every one to two years to have it recalibrated. Step 2. When and how often. Talk to your doctor or nurse about how self-checking can be of most benefit. They'll let you know how often is best for you. Many people check first thing in the morning and last thing at night. It's useful to take readings at the same time of day so that you are consistent and comparing like with like. Don't take readings too often, as blood pressure levels go up and down and you could get a false impression, thus causing yourself unnecessary worry. Step 3. Preparation. Several factors can make your blood pressure rise temporarily. Exercise, alcohol, illness, caffeine, tobacco, a full bladder, anxiety, excitement and pain are just a few. When you take readings, make sure your bladder is empty and you have not just eaten a meal. You should also avoid taking measurements within 30 minutes of drinking caffeine or smoking. Step 4. Measure. Sit down, preferably at a desk or table, in a quiet place. Rest for about 5 minutes. Your feet should be flat on the floor. Read your monitor's instructions before use. Fasten the cuff around your arm. It's important to use the right-sized cuff, otherwise you may get inaccurate readings. The bladder, the part which inflates, should cover at least two-thirds of the distance around your arm and should not overlap. The bottom of the cuff should be about two centimetres from the crease in your elbow and you should be able to fit one finger between the cuff and your arm when it's fastened. Rest your arm at the height of your heart. Turn the monitor on. It will automatically inflate the cuff. It's normal to feel a tightening sensation. When the display on the monitor sets, record your reading. Readings can vary, so it's a good idea to take up to three readings in one sitting and record them all for your doctor to look at. Step 5. Your reading. If you are monitoring your blood pressure at home, and have readings consistently at or above 140 over 90 and have not seen your doctor or nurse, you should do so. Further information. You'll find more information about blood pressure here on the Video Jug website and further links at the end of this film. If you do have concerns about your health, always seek professional help. Done.